Hey, it's Brian here at Days with Kids. We're back talking with Claire and David about car seats. In our last video, we talked about what kind of car seat to buy and when you should buy a car seat. Now we're gonna talk about making sure that you're using it properly. So, Claire and David, thanks again. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. So yeah, David, we know that we now, we've got a great seat. David's helped us choose a good seat. Now, the question is, how do you use it properly? So David's gonna tell us a little bit about how to use it and more importantly, what not to do. So David, why don't you talk to us about the infant carrier seat? So with every seat, whether infant carrier or regular seat, the two most important things are the seats installed properly and the child's in it properly. So when we talk about installation properly, there's latches and there's seat belts. There's ways of doing it. There's manuals, there's, there's videos, but really there's also the police department, there's professional installers, if in doubt, I encourage you really to use those. Right. Go out, they'll teach you how to do it, you'll be an expert at it in that case. Mm -hmm. But always make sure, most important, the seat is in properly and the child's in it properly. Right. And that means tight. Okay, so why don't you show us here on this seat how to properly put the child into the seat. So all seats have five-point harnesses, meaning that the child is bound in by their shoulders, their hips, and the chest. What we like to see is that when you put your child in, we like to do the legs first and you make sure they're nice and taut. We tighten the straps a little and then we put the chest plate in. And the chest plate is a big thing. So the things we look for with the chest plate is where does it sit? Mm -hmm. So we want to get the chest strap nice and mm -hmm. high. But most importantly, first we want to get it tight. So the rule is not the two finger rule because as you can see, yeah. Claire, Brian and I all have different size fingers. Yeah. <laughs> and as your child grows, their body is disproportionate to your fingers. Right. So what we want to do is we want to get nice and tight by pulling the tether. And then if we can't pinch it lengthwise, we know it's tight. Right. So really that's what we're looking for. Right. And that's our five points, collarbone, chest and hips. Right. So dads, the takeaway here is your baby's not as breakable as you think. It's okay to get a snug fit. It's in fact, it's very important. Now what about a lot of parents struggle because their child's head, especially a newborn, goes back and forth side to side. So if that's uh, happening, mm -hmm. what do you recommend? The thing we look for, and this is very important when they're on newborns, is that 45 degree angle. Because we want to keep the head back, airway open, children don't have head control. The side to side is, is a daddy thing. The daddy sits there and goes, oh, they look uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. They don't wake up with stiff necks. But if you do, if it bothers you, just take a receiving blanket, roll it up, put it beside the child's head, not mm -hmm. behind, and they'll be comfortable. But yeah. they really, kids are okay yeah. like this. And, yeah. and dads, you got older kids, they're sleeping like this. They don't wake up going, my neck's sore. They're fine. Right. As long as they're pinned in the seat right. and they're pinned yeah. back, their head can move. It's right. not a big deal. Right. And if you're going to use a swaddling blanket to do that, I do advise finding something that's made out of a muslin cotton that's going to be breathable and not too hot for the baby's head because babies do definitely get very overheated when they're in a cozy, tight car seat. So this is the infant seat. Now let's talk a little bit about the, the toddler sure. size seat. This doll here is a three-year-old. But if you wanted to use it for an infant, you'd have some a different seats, setup. Well, some seats will come with body panels for the infant. And the, as they graduate, you take the body panels mm -hmm. out. This has a headrest. This comes out as the child gets bigger. But the reality is, is my advice is becoming more and more, buy the seat that goes to higher weight. Because what tends to happen is, oh, they reach the 50 pound limit on right. their seat and they go, okay, now we're going to put our child into a booster. That, bad ideas. Right. Um, what I'm really encouraging now is, Children should be in a five-point harness as long as possible. It's proven to be safer. Now, every state law changes, every province. There's tons of different laws. Just because the law says at 33 pounds or at 40 pounds, your child can go into a booster, doesn't mean you should. Right. That's the bare minimum. I want you to start thinking the maximum. How much safer is it to keep our child in a steel frame seat right. than in a seat belt? Right. And really, really think about that. You're erring on the side of safety. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks to David, my five and a half year old is still in a five point harness and quite happily so. So it's definitely worth considering. It's very common for parents to want your child to get to the next stage, whether that's going from crawling to walking to sitting to starting solids. But where car seats are concerned, we don't want to be in such a rush to move them on to the next phase. You want to really make sure that you're being the safest that you can be by offering your child the best possible protection. And the seats are being designed that way today. They're being designed to last longer, right. to be used longer. The laws will change right. and kids are right. gonna stay longer and longer. Okay. Age has become less a factor. It's more body size and fit into the car. Right. Well, thank you so much, David, oh, so for showing us how to properly put our children and our infants into their car seats. 
Brian, thank you so much for having us. It's always fun to be here with the Gays with Kids community and sharing some of our expert tips with you guys. Thank you. Oh, thank thank you. you. Dad, let us know if you have any questions by leaving some comments at the end of the video. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our latest uploads. Remember, we publish a new video every Tuesday. Leave us a comment below if there's a video topic you'd like us to cover or if you have any questions. Thanks and see you next time.